Welcome back to our day four of seven days of yoga series. Thank you for all the messages you sent me on Instagram and the stories you tagged me and all the comments you wrote down under the YouTube video so far. It means a lot to me to know that you are enjoying the series and that you find the videos useful. So thank you so much. So today on day four, we will focus on a giving mindset and on the present moment. So as usual, I would like to share a few things from Arnold's book, so from the Rock Warrior's Way. And on page 60, there is a sentence which I want to read to you. So often we think we will really enjoy climbing when we get something, whether it's stronger forearms, more free time or the red point on our project. So instead of focusing on what you want to receive, which is in the future, try to shift your attention to this moment, so to the present moment, and to focus on what you can give during the process. I really liked another sentence which I read in Arno's book, so it's page 65, and he says that instead of this um, receiving mindset, we should focus on the giving mindset, so giving our fullest effort and attention to the present moment. So he says that put aside thoughts of the outcome and focus on the grand effort taking place. So for today's session, I would also like to invite you to focus on this giving mindset. So giving our fullest attention and effort for this moment, instead of wishing to have I don't know, like more flexible hamstrings or stronger arms or whatever it might be. So let's put those thoughts aside and just let's bring the attention to this moment, to our body. And on this note, let's just close your eyes or soften the gaze just for a few moments to take the time to arrive to our body. Quite often we are so much in our head but let's use this yoga practice to come back to our body, to feel the body from within. So sitting tall and confident, roll your shoulders back a few times to open up your chest, perhaps shoulder blades closer to one the other. The back of your neck is long. The top of your head is going up towards the sky, so it's lengthening your upper body. Let's take one inhalation through the nose together. Inhale, fill your lungs and chest with oxygen. And exhale fully. Feel your seat sitting down onto your yoga mat. Your hands gently resting on your, ha on your thighs, on your knees, wherever they are. And one more time, take an inhalation. Exhalation and gently open your eyes. Now open your feet wider than your yoga mat and your inner knees are bent 90 degrees and then let's move our hips knees to one side, push the hip forward, gentle spine twist and then come back to the other side. So a few times like that. You can help yourself with the hands or you can keep your arms in the air. One more time to one side and then come back into the center. Now let's put uh, one leg as a half butterfly and then the other leg, uh, left foot to touch your left hip. So left leg is bent. Now with inhalation, we will stand up onto our knees into a kneeling position and then sit back down. A few more times, stand up and sit back down. Once again, you can help yourself with your hands if you'd like, or without using your hands. So lift it up, squeeze the glute, and lower. I will turn to the side. So a few more times, lift it up, squeeze the glutes, push the left hip forward especially, and then lower. Last time, lift it up, squeeze the glutes, and then lower. Now bring your right hand back, we will lift our sit bones up, squeeze the left glute. If you want, you can lift your left arm up. So a gentle opening in our chest, squeezing the left glute, hip forward, take an inhalation, try not to drop your head. You can actually grab your head with your left hand for support, take an inhalation. On the exhalation, come back down. 
Now let's meet in a butterfly position. So lift your left foot and bring the soles of your feet together. And now your right knee, touch your left knee and then open up. A few times like that. You can create more space between your heels and your body so it might be more comfortable. So again, just experimenting with the distance and finding a sweet spot for us few times. Check your breath. Inhale. Exhale. Come back into the center. Now let's keep our left leg as a half butterfly. Bend your right leg. Your right foot goes towards your right sit bone. Your left foot touches your right knee or your right thigh. Now maybe support yourself with the hands or maybe not. Lift yourself up. Squeeze the glutes and then lower few times like that again. If actually, forgot to say before, but if it's not nice for your knees, it's always good to put something underneath. So it, it can be a pillow, um, a jacket, <laughs> a jacket, a jumper, scarf, something to make it softer. Okay, and last time, Lift your hips up, squeeze the glute, and then lower your hips down. Now bring your left arm back, then push your hips forward, engage your right glute. We are feeling a gentle lengthening sensation on the right thigh. And if you want right arm up, gentle opening it up in our chest. And another option is to hold our head with our right hand. Continue to open up our right armpit as well in this position. Check your breath. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. On the exhalation, come back into the center. Let's meet in a butterfly position again, perhaps creating more space between your heels and your body. And a few times, knees touch on one side, on the other. Last time to touch. Come back into the center. Put the soles of your feet together onto the ground. Lift your sit bones up and a little transition. Knees down. Lift your hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Lower your hips down and lower your heels down. So here we are massaging our feet. And let's meet with our heels down. You can open up your feet slightly wider. And again, a little freestyle movement, one knee down, the other, to feel and to awaken our hips. And let's meet in a tabletop position. So hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Spread your fingers wide, your knuckles are pushing down. Let's do a gentle massage for our wrists. So going forward, going backwards, not pushing too much, um, not going our biggest range. Just a few times like that. While you're moving forward and back, continue to push the fingertips down into the yoga mat. Index knuckle is pushing down as well. So we have support for our wrists. And now we swap your hands the other way. So now your palms are looking up. We can do it separately one hand at a time. Or if you'd like, bring both hands. If you want less intense, bring your hands closer to your knees. Then more of our weight will be on our knees and less on our wrists. So here again, super gently, perhaps slow movement forward and back, forward and back. Continue to push now your nails into your yoga mat. So we have an activation in our wrists. Take an inhalation. Exhale, tuck your toes behind you and just shake your hands. Lift your arms up towards the sky and a few times Big circles with your wrists, one direction, then the other. 
take an inhalation exhale shake your hands let's meet back into a tabletop position and now lift your knees up engage your core push the shoulder blades away from each other and now extend your left leg behind you keeping the right knee above the ground then lower left toes down and extend right leg back keep the left leg bent and one more time left leg back lower right leg back and lower now just for some fun extend your left leg back and extend your right leg forward inhale exhale lower it's way harder than it seems actually then extend your right leg back and left arm forward lower left hand lower your right foot down lower your knees down few cat and cows to relax inhale and to come back to the breath exhale round your spine one more time inhale and exhale okay let's meet back into a tabletop now shuffle your right foot to the right side we will come to a side plank with our right knee down onto the ground keep your right palm on the ground side plank right knee on the ground and then lift your left leg up and lift your left arm across so we have a straight line on the left side of our body take an inhalation on the exhalation left knee touches your left elbow and then extend a few more times to touch and then extend Two more times, extend to touch. Last time, extend, doing super well to touch. Now left foot goes into the front of your yoga mat. You can shuffle your right knee slightly more back. It might be more comfortable. Keep your right palm where it is. Stay here for a few moments. And whenever you're ready, bend your right leg. So your right heel wants to go towards your right sit bone. We are squeezing the imaginary balloon, feeling the lengthening sensation on the front right thigh. And now extend your left arm forward. Inhale. On the exhalation, towards your right foot. Just touch or direction towards. A few moments. And then on the inhalation, once again, lengthen. Exhalation to touch. A few more times. Inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Okay. If next time you want to grab your right foot with your left hand, grab it or continue to go the direction towards it. Stay here and breathe. We can always use a belt or a scarf to help ourselves to wrap the foot, the belt around the foot, as mentioned on my day two or day three or day one of yoga series. Take an inhalation, exhale. Now let go of your right foot. Now engage your core and start to straighten your left leg. With inhalation, lift your left leg up to hover. Hover. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, bring your left knee next to your right foot. And then lower your hands down back into a tabletop position. Index knuckle is pushing down. Fingers are spreading wide. Open up your left foot to the left side. Side plank onto our left knee. Lift your right arm up, right leg up as well. Continue to lengthen, take an inhalation. On the exhalation, right elbow to touch your right knee and extend four more times. Inhale, exhale to touch. So bringing our attention to this moment, to the present moment, exploring the sensation in our body, 
And last time, inhale and then to touch. And then bring your right foot to the front. And then perhaps shuffle your left knee more back. It might be more comfortable. Keep your left palm on the ground and then bend your left leg towards your left sit bone. Squeeze the imaginary balloon, which is in between your left sit bone and your left heel. And then extend your right arm in front. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, bring your right hand towards your left foot, perhaps touch for a moment. And then bring your right arm back in front as if you want to reach something, inhale. Exhale to touch. So spine twist, chest is open. Three more times, inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Two more times, inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. Last time, inhale, extend. Exhale to touch. And now grab your left foot with your right hand or perhaps continue to go the direction towards. Or another option is to use a belt, a jumper, a scarf. We don't need to push too deep. So finding a sweet spot, something what feels good for us. Take an inhalation, feel the lengthening sensation on the front left thigh, chest is open, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale. On the exhalation, let go of your left foot, lower your right hand. Now straighten your right leg, lift your upper body up, engage your core, and then lift your right leg up as well. Hover for a few moments. Maybe close your eyes for extra challenge. It gets slightly harder if we close our eyes. And then bring your right knee next to your left knee. Lower your hands down and let's meet in a downward looking dog. So perhaps bend one knee, the other. Move your hips to one side or the other in our downward looking dog. So exploring little different movements. Or if you'd like staying still and exploring the stillness in the body. Continuing to breathe and using our breath as an anchor to come back to this moment, to come back to the body. And then start to walk your feet to the front of your yoga mat. So your feet meets your hands. Just hang in there, maybe grabbing the opposite elbow. You can keep your legs bent as much as you'd like. Shake your head as if you're saying yes, as if you're saying no, to relax your head, to relax the back of your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Now let go of your elbows. And then one vertebra at a time, start to lift yourself up. Super slowly, nowhere to hurry. And your head will be the last to rise. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Opening up your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Okay. So we should be in the front of our yoga mats. Now, Bend your left leg, so left knee goes, left heel goes towards your left sit bone. And then with inhalation, lift your arms up. Continue to squeeze something in between your left heel and your left sit bone. Inhale, exhale. Keep your right arm where it is, but lower your left arm down. So your inner elbow is looking out and your palm is looking out as well. Thumb is on the top we grab our ankle. So just for experimentation, if you grab your ankle with the palm looking towards your body, then your shoulder is internally rotating, so it looks more down. If our palm is looking to the side, inner elbow is looking to the side, so automatically the shoulder is more open. So that's why I suggest to 
keep the palm looking to the side so we have a left shoulder open and then let's meet in a dancer's pose so start to push your left leg back no need to go very deep and keep your right arm up towards the sky take an inhalation exhale one more time inhale exhale using your hamstrings your glutes so your left hamstrings left glutes to continue to lift your left leg up take an inhalation exhale and then super gently let go of your left leg bring your left foot back high lunge inhale arms up one more time inhale on the exhalation lower your hands down bring your right foot back into a high lunge push the shoulder blades away from each other take an inhalation on the exhalation knees down and tuck your toes lower your whole body down and then with inhalation gently lift your arms by the side of your body lift your feet lift your shoulders the back of your neck is long so here we are really using our back muscles to lift and lengthen inhale chest is open one more time inhale on the exhalation, hands underneath your shoulders. Let's meet in a downward looking dog. With inhalation, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Bend your right leg so your right heel goes towards your right sit bone. Continue to open up your right knee up towards the sky. Inhale. On the exhalation, bring your right foot in between your hands into the front of your yoga mat. Then bring your left foot to meet your right. Bend your knees, core is engaged. And with inhalation, sweep your arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Just for a moment, close your eyes or soften the gaze. And let's fully commit to the breath. So fully committing to this moment, let's take an inhalation together and exhale fully. One more time, inhale, exhale. Now gently open your eyes if you had your eyes closed, lift your arms up towards the sky and then bend your right leg. So we are standing on the left leg, bend your right leg, your right heel goes towards your right sit bone. You start to engage your right hamstrings, engaging your right glute. Keep your left arm where it is and with your right hand grab your right ankle. Once again, palm is looking out and your inner elbow is looking out as well. So shoulder is open. Take an inhalation first, exhale, and then start to push your right leg up, feeling the lengthening sensation on the front, right shoulder, right hamstrings are engaged. Take an inhalation, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, on the exhalation, let go of your right foot. Shoot your right foot back into a high lunge and with inhalation, lifting your arms up towards the sky. Your ribs are drawing down. So we are hugging our organs with our ribs. So this way, activating our deep core muscles. Take an inhalation. Exhale, lower your hands down, left foot back into a high lunge. Stay here for a moment, check your breath, take an inhalation, exhale, knees down and tuck your toes, lower your whole body down and then little lift up. So kneecaps are engaged, lifting your head, shoulder, chest up. Again, using our back muscles, the back of your neck is long, take an inhalation, exhale one more time inhale and on the exhalation downward looking dog with the next breath in lift your left leg up bend your left knee so left knee is going up left 
heels going towards your left sit bone, your shoulders are in line, but we are lifting our left knee as high as is comfortable. <clears throat> Take an inhalation. And on the exhalation, left foot in between your hands, the right foot meets your left, bend your knees and with inhalation, sweep your arms up. Exhale, arms by the side of your body. Now with inhalation, lift your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straight back. So hands of your choice, maybe on your thighs or maybe by the side of your body. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, forward fold. Sit back onto your yoga mat. Extend your legs and gently shake your legs. Now let's meet in a seated position, seated comfortable position, maybe sitting on a pillow, on a block, kneeling, cross-legged. Now interlace your fingers behind your back, open up your chest, stretch your arms. You can gently add the movement with your head, so perhaps one ear towards one shoulder and then the other. Inhale, exhale. Now bring your hands towards your right hip or towards your right rib. Take an inhalation. On the exhalation, right ear towards your right shoulder. So super softly, not forcing anything. We want to feel the lengthening sensation on the left side of our neck. You can add a gentle movement with your head forward and back. Forward and back. With the next inhalation, bring your head back into the center. Then extend your arms once again, back behind you, lengthen, and then interlace with fingers in a more awkward way. So usually we always interlace with the same index finger in the top. So now the swap things. So it's good for our brains to do something which we are not so used to do. And then lengthen your arms, take an inhalation. On the exhalation, bring your hands next to your left hip or your left ribs. Stay here, and then your left ear goes towards your left shoulder. So we feel the opening sensation on the right side of our body. Perhaps add a little movement with your head going forward and back. Continuing to breathe, and once again, bring your attention to this moment. Explore the sensation on the right side of your neck. Continuing to breathe, take an inhalation, exhale, and gently come back into the center. Last time, extend your arms in front of you, inhale, exhale, let go and shake your shoulders, shake your arms. Okay, so we are finished for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the session and once again, as Arno shares in the book, instead of focusing on the future, let's bring our attention to this moment, to what we already have and to the effort we can give in the process. I feel if we focus on the present moment of what we already have, we will notice that there are quite a lot of things we can be grateful for. Yeah, on this note, I finish and See you tomorrow for a day five of our Rock Slash Yoga Warrior series.